Hi viewers, this is Meenak Kishnura Max Chicho. Welcome to my channel. You are watching Ganit Suter Emmers. Uh, are you ready to learn? Let me start the class. I'm going to solve the problem. Example 15, uh, page number 61 in inside the book and chapter 3. Clear? In chapter 3. Uh, now, what are given in this problem? For example 15, for which value of P does the pair of equations given below has unique solution? Actually, here they given a pair of linear equations in two variable and the, the here a2 value is uh, here it is p they didn't give you any number here the coefficient of y in a first equation is p it is also variable but what they asking in this for what value of p the pair of given pair of linear equation has a unique solution are you clear so we can put some value for p then the pair of linear equations became a unique solutions clear so now we find out that what value of p it can be a the solutions can the solution can be a unique solution clear it is very easy to one on comparing the ratios we know that uh, the unique solution it has whether the solution whether the pair of linear equation has a unique solution we know that already a1 by a2 which is not equal to b1 by b2 then the given pair of linear equation is a unique solution are you all clear? 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 It is a unique solution. Now we can find out, the, we can write the value from this equation. A1 is equal to 4. B1 value P. C1 value 8. Next, A2 value 2. B2 value 2. C2 value 2. Clear? Clear? Now we can substitute the value in this form. Because a1 divided by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 that is a unique solution. Now we can substitute the value of a1 and a2 that is 4 by 2 which is not equal to b by 2. Clear? It is a very easy problem. Next, as usual, what we can do? Do the cross multiplication. So, uh, p into 2, 2p not equal to 2, p not equal to 4 into 2. Clear? Next, 2 P not equal to 8 then P not equal to 8 here multiplication to divided by 2 so 1 2 are 2 4 2 sir. so P not equal to 4 clear so what from what we learned from this one actually P not equal to 0 so you can put any number in this equation instead of P you can put any number except to 4 then the given pair of linear equation unique solution. So for except to 4, the given pair of linear equation is a unique solution. Clear? You can put any value. Surely the pair of linear equation is a unique solution except 4. Clear? Uh, therefore, we can say for all the value of P except 4. Clear? So except to 4, the given pair of equations will have a unique solution. Are you all clear? Clear? Any doubt? I hope in this video you made clear about the problem. Thank you for watching my video. If it is any doubt, you can ask me in a comment. Here I will enclose a few problems for practice. You can practice the problem. While practicing the problem, if any doubt, you just ask me in that comment. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you all of you.